I often organize and run my own MBTI events in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. And while I love to meet other people in the MBTI type community, and while I love to talk to other intuitives and sensors and personnel types alike, I can often find myself annoyed by some of the intuitives that I meet in real life. And why do I get annoyed with intuitives? What's the number one most annoying thing about intuitives? Well, it's their refusal to give simple and clear examples. A lot of the time I'll hear intuitives talk around a topic forever and ever, refusing to give any form of concrete examples. Sometimes it seems their ideas are spinning and they are thinking in depth about something. Their refusal to put things in the real world and to give personal life examples of what it is they are talking about make them very hard to understand. Intuitives, because of this, can also struggle with feeling misunderstood. And of course you will get misunderstood if you refuse to engage with and present your ideas to the real world. A lot of the time, while intuition allows us to explore new systems of thoughts and new ideas, it can also keep us from engaging with the world right in front of us. And the truth is, what I often find when I start to unpack intuitive ideas is that most of the time your existential crisis or your big dilemma or problem that you're talking about can often be tracked to practical issues in your personal life. A lot of the time intuitives don't necessarily see the connection between the experiences that they have in the real world at their workplace or in their relationships that these experiences can impact their unconscious mind and their thoughts and their dreams and their ideas. And so what I want intuitives to understand is that everything you think and say is a metaphor for things that happen in your waking life. And so I want you to try to connect, to force yourself to connect these two worlds. Imagine that in your mind you have the capacity for sensory thinking and intuitive thinking and learn to build connections between these two different processes. Learn to rely on and cross-connect and combine these two, two processes in any way possible. One way of thinking about this is that for every idea you have, take one practical action in your day-to-day -day lives. If you have a big thought about the future, think about something you can do right here, right now, that will put you one step closer to that future. And whenever you talk with other people, and you struggle to explain your ideas and you feel misunderstood by other people, think of ways that you can connect your experiences and your thoughts to things that other people have experienced or seen. Make it real, make it count, be a little bit more vulnerable because that's what it's about. A lot of the time, what keeps intuitives from putting their ideas out there on paper, you fear that if you explain your ideas in too concrete or too practical words, you untangle and lose these ideas and their value. When an idea that you have brought to the real world, it can be confronted with criticism from other people. Other people can say no or disagree or can give you facts that can prove you wrong. But if you don't want that to happen, there is a simple way to avoid it. Make your ideas so abstract, so complex, that they are simply intangible, impossible, and unfalsifiable. Just write the horoscope about it.